Hey everybody, Dave here. Hope you're having an awesome day. Hey, don't forget to like and subscribe. I got myself a really cool gift for my own birthday. I kind of splurged. I don't normally spend a ton of money on toys, but this one I've been eyeballing for quite a while and had to do it. It is Eddie, the robot, and this thing is really cool. If you haven't seen it, I think you're gonna like it. Come on, let's check it out. All right, I'm super excited about this. So here's the outside of the box. It's got this really cool print that is just glued and stuck on there. Um, mine's like a little wrinkled up, but I think it's kind of cool. Uh, the rest of the box really pretty plain, but got Eddie on the front by Paul Braddock. I think that's how you say his name. You open this up and first off, you got some pretty simple instructions. It's just gonna be really simple glue and assembly. Uh, the real joy in this project is gonna come from the paint job, so I'm really looking forward to that. So very simple instructions there. Let's go ahead and lift this up. All right, so right off the bat, really cool display, nice insert of the foam. You've got the feet, which are just really nicely cast. There will be no cleanup on this. I might take some uh, rubbing alcohol and just wipe it down just to make sure there's no release, mold, residue, or anything like that, but got a really nice little uh, um, grid on the feet there. Some just really nice little details, screws and rivets and stuff like that. So that's the foot, then the hand, kind of same story, three fingers, or I guess two fingers and a thumb. Really nice little details, a lot of fun little things to paint on here, so I'm really looking forward to this. And then the arm here, this will glue in like this. Now, one thing that I may modify just a little bit is I'm going to drill this out, drill this out, and take some small magnets. I just want to do that so I have the ability to Pose the hand. I'm using the wrong hand. <laughs> Grab this one. There we go. Whoop. I want the ability to pose the hand. Maybe like he's reaching, uh, holding his hand out for something or flip it like that. So I think with a magnet, I should be able to accomplish that. So that's pretty great. Then the leg, it has a little joint that will glue into the body. I'll show you the body in just a second. And then a foot that will glue right in there. I think I'm gonna go ahead and glue this. I'm not really worried about, you know, the foot changing, so I, I'm gonna glue that so it's permanent. And then let's go ahead and pull this out. Then you've got Eddie himself down here. Pull him out. One thing really quick, the uh, arms, you got a magnet here, maybe a magnet here or a metal plate, I'm not sure, but that clicks right in. So it does give you some articulation. I think that's a really nice feature. And you can see here, really cool little venting, nice panel lines, some more vents. The eyes on the side here, and then the back. It's got this cool little backpack kind of thing, a little maybe a power pack up here. Um, so then I'll show you really quick, just for fun, the leg. Like I was talking before, Oops, I think it's this way. That plugs right into there. Put the foot on there. And he's a pretty good size. He's gonna stand pretty tall. So that's that. I wanted to show you something else. Um, there are a couple of parts here. <coughs> Excuse me. So there's some wires. And I believe the wires are, yeah, for the back of the arms here. I think it's optional, but you can glue a wire in there, go to there. I think the same is true for the leg. Uh, yeah, there's some little spots for like maybe you can plug a wire in there and run it up to there. So it's just a little added detail. So there are four wires. Then I'm going to go ahead and open this up so you can see it. There are two small pieces here. These are going to be his 
little ears. There's a notch, and that just plugs right in there. So it'll be one there, one on this side. So I have two little ears. And you'll notice the peg for gluing this is up on the top portion. And you'll see this little panel line right here. The reason that panel line is there is because the head opens up and there's a battery pack inside. So again, there's a little um, peg, drops in, three magnets that holds on. But the reason this opens is because there are LEDs in the lights, or um, LEDs for the eyes. And so I'll turn this on. I put some batteries in there just so you can see it, but that's really cool. And what's even cooler is they provide these little plastic clear resin lenses that will drop in and kind of diffuse the light just a little bit. And let me turn this off really quick so you can see there's some cool little detailing in there. It looks like an old headlight. And then this clicks back on like so. Um, oh, and then one last thing. There are these little kind of piston kind of things and they go here and then it'll go here on the back of the foot. So it gives, yeah, there we go. Just a cool little detail. So it looks like the foot could, you know, actuate up and down with some kind of piston. So, yeah, so that is Eddie. Oh, and his head is magnetized on there as well. So you get some articulation there, kind of looking around. Um, he's really cool. I cannot wait to get him all painted up. So that will be the next video. Stay tuned for that. But until then, it is a great day to be a toy nerd. Have a great one.